Hola, gringos y gringos. Welcome to Gringos R Us, the Murphy's Law edition, coming up next. Welcome back. Here we are. And yes, it's true. We are homeless in Carretero. Crap. Again? <laughs> I, I know. We couldn't even write a script that mm -mm. keeps tossing all the curveballs nope. that have tossed, nope. been laid in front of us. But here we are. And we're going to roll with it. Don't have any choice. Now all we got to do is find another place to live in Carretero in three weeks. So I'm just going to put this out right now. I am not an Airbnb fan, and this is exactly the reason why. Um, you can go through properties. They can have great reviews. People can say wonderful things, but ultimately you can get a cancellation at the last minute. And there's nothing you can do about it. And they hold your money that you put down as the deposit for a couple of days until they process the refund. So then you also don't have the money to flip it around on another property. And when they hold that property and then release it months later, right before you're ready to come, now all the alternate properties that you may have been interested in are no longer available. We had a list mm -hmm. of incorrect throw, I'm gonna say of about 50 to 60. Yeah properties that that we were looking at and of course our very first one was pulled from us um after we had made the reservation because the owner had forgotten to take it off of the list because he was doing renovations and we can honestly say that as soon as he did do the cancellation it was removed from the yes. listing we still like it. It was. We Cole still love it. It I was mean, Calissa neighborhood. I was really excited about it, but he has not relisted it. So, and it's been months. Yeah. So we have no reason to believe that. To doubt that what right. he was telling us was the truth. Then the second listing that we had, that was our own fault. Um, we booked it, and one of our hard and firm requirements, mm -hmm. and there's not many. Mm -hmm. But one of the hard and firm requirements is that we have off-street parking, secure parking. And we really like this place. It had phenomenal views of yep. Peretro up yep. on the hill, had a Walmart right behind it, and was really very unique in its, in its um, layout and architectural structure, yep. and had this great, great, uh, terrace area. To it was sit nice. Out. It was nice. It was, you had to walk down to the street to your car. Yeah. Which means it wasn't even in view. No. Like you wouldn't even have your car in sight. No. And so it was, was like, nope. <laughs> no. And it was wherever you were going to be able to find to park it, park it. Yeah, no. 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 We're not no. doing that. So. So we had, we, we booked that one for, I think, an hour. And yeah. It was about an hour, and then we finally realized, oh, crap, we don't have parking. So we canceled that one. And with we the, went with to, apologies. Yes, we did. Know. Yeah, that was all on us. Yeah. And then the third one was the one that we had for months. Now, we have had it for months. 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 And we put down a full month's deposit on yep. it. Because that's a requirement. If you're going to rent for a month, you have to pay for the month, and that is a non-refundable amount in case... In case you're the one that Well, uh, um, unless you cancel up to, uh, outside of 30 days. No. The whole first month on a one-month rental is non-refundable. Oh, okay. The rest of the rental is partially refundable, depending oh. on when. Yeah. But well, th that's that's because they, they're they taking it off the market so no one else can rent it. Right. And then if you turn and around and cancel, it's, it's fine. We don't mind that. What we don't like is that it takes days to get your money back. And then you're without a place to stay. We also don't like it that the owners, I mean, really, we're at their mercy. We're at their whim. They can cancel it 
And, and the only thing that Airbnb says is we can take away their super host listing. A whoop de freaking do. <laughs> I'm sorry. That doesn't help us. And then, and then they also say in their email, we can assist you in finding another, you know, a, a, a agreeable spot or refund you the money. Well, that option was never given to us. We just got the Refunded money back. The money. Now, the person who canceled sent a message that they were very sorry, but they had to cancel for personal reasons and they would be happy to assist us in finding another spot. And I basically sent him our criteria. But the thing is, is we are on manana time again and nobody's in a rush to do anything. And look, I know we have to get adjusted to this. Fine. But I don't want to be in another country wondering where I'm going to sleep when I get there. I can that deal. is not a manana thing for me. No, I can deal with a lot of things, but I do want to know where yeah. we're going to be. Exactly. That This is not a weekend trip or even a week getaway. No. This is not something that's up for, hey, get a hotel room. No, it's not because we're looking for places for one to three months. And so a hotel room's too expensive, doesn't have the things that we need, like, I don't know, a working kitchen. Well, it, you know, and, 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 and workspace for you. Yeah. And, and quite honestly, it doesn't allow us to integrate into no. the Mexican lifestyle no. stuck in a hotel. No. I mean, nothing screams gringo more than, oh, yeah, I'm at the Holiday Inn. Um, for a month. <laughs> I mean, for a month. Uh, and and in the, honestly, it's more expensive. Yeah. Because when you do a reservation through Airbnb, a lot of the time you will get a long-term discount. And we're doing these month by month. So, so yeah, we're getting a decent discount on a lot of them. We did try Verbo, but Verbo does not offer Ooh. a, a long-term discount. It is the daily rate. And so, yeah, suddenly these places were getting way out of control with the prices. I mean, how does twenty nine grand for the two months sound? I mean, no. no. And we're not talking pesos. No. We're talking I mean, dollars. And and we're not really looking for a vacation rental. We're just looking for a house. Yeah. A townhouse, an apartment, you know, something Picasso. that I mean something people actually live in, not vacation in. And so then I tried Muebles 24, but the problem with Muebles is that you have to go through an agent. Mm -hmm. None of them have responded. Uh, I went to Facebook Messen or Facebook Marketplace, Marketplace, and I did find one. It was um, very nice, and they don't say if it's long-term rental. I'm assuming that it is. Uh, but the agent was like, okay, sure. I will ask the owners. Well, that was three days ago, guys, three days ago. And there's been no answer. Crickets. You know, Crickets. so this, this manana thing is not going to work with us finding a place to stay. And so again, I'm waiting for a response from somebody. Well, we're waiting on for Airbnb from all anybody. Over the places. Yeah, we're waiting. I mean, we got the, the Facebook marketplace. We're waiting here from her. We're waiting here from in Muebles 24. We're waiting to hear from mm -hmm. uh, uh, the one, when we started going back to our list, of course, the 50 or 60 that we had got pared down rather quickly because now if somebody rented one week in the middle of our month, they were no longer would show up as being available for right. the entire time that we were wanting to be there. Right. So that list basically disappeared. And they're showing us half and half options. No, no and, I, I don't want to be there and then have to pick everything back up again and move in the middle of a stay. No, and and we're finding places that are really nice, but they're in Yuriquia, uh El Refugio, uh, you know, yeah. places that are, are not exactly um, close to central of right. Carretero. I mean, we're not opposed to staying in those places. They're very nice places to stay. But they don't necessarily have anything within walking distance of the place. So what, we're going to be stuck in a gated community walking around in the park? And we could take an Uber every day or whatever to places we want to visit. And that's fine. It's just that we kind of wanted to be a little bit closer. What? We don't have to be in Centro. No, no, no. Because the parking situation makes that almost impossible. And, and, and I think what what's making this more difficult to be honest is we had this belief 
that we had come to accept to be fact that we were going to be where we were going to be, and it was going to be very close. We're going to be able to walk. We're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to do that. (laughs) And then to have that just taken away from us, we're trying to replace it. Yeah. And, 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 And in our minds, we were looking forward to this, and we're trying to see if we can still make that part happen. Right. And as we continue to search... It's rapidly becoming more and more evident that that's probably not going to be the case. And so then it's, okay, we got to have the ones that check the boxes, you know, at least clean bed. It's got to have the off-street secure parking. It's got to have... Yeah, like you said, at least a queen bed. We are running across over and over and over that either one, they don't list the size of the beds at all. And the pictures aren't convincing us that they're anything bigger than a double or no. full-size bed. Sorry, guys. We can't do that. It's just impossible. There's three of us in our bed. Me, him, and a full-size body pillow. <laughs> and me and the pillow get along fine. I'm and sure. I mean, yeah. But it has to be at least a queen. Yeah. And we will do queen. We like king. We like king. But we'll do queen. Yeah. And, so. and, and then it needs to have... Either a rooftop, a terrace, a backyard. It's got to have some place so, he can so I can go take smoke. my cigar break and go sit and enjoy right. life and have my cigar. Right. Just, you, you know. know. We know that people don't want smoke in their home. We understand that. Well, then we need a place for him to go. And it can't be 12 stories down and out in the back of the building. Ain't happening. Right. So we need at least a good terrace or a backyard space or a rooftop or some place where he can go. So those are the those are it. Yeah, it's that's, the, that's the it. The parking, I mean, the bed, uh, 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 terrace. Wi-Fi. Oh, and, and good Wi-Fi. And good Wi-Fi. I have to have good Wi-Fi. And when I say good Wi-Fi, it's got to be at the minimum 40 megs a second. Minimum. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. I mean, those four, those four right there, that pretty much, you know, the rest of it, we can work around. You know, and I if mean, I look tired, if we look tired, it's because I, I had a video I was working on for this week. Two of them. Well, yeah, but I was working on, yeah, drop, I, know. I was going to drop one talking about traveling mailbox versus Dakota Post. And man, no, that got side railed Monday night. Because come Tuesday, every day this week, I have spent every waking hour looking for a place to stay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been dig, 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 dig. Yeah. Let's see if we can find someplace. So that's the that's the short of the story. And ain't going to be no fancy animation things going on on this video. No. Because I just want to get this out there and let you know what's going on. We just want to give you all a heads up as to what's going on. If you're a new uh, this is your first time finding us. We <laughs> welcome you. Yes. Um, I am Gina. I am Mark, and we are Gringos R Us. And if you're finding any entertainment value, please make sure to give us the thumbs up, like, share, and always leave a comment down below. We're always happy to hear what you guys have to say because y'all are phenomenal on that. <laughs> and remember to ring the bell so that you get notified of new content when it gets released. Yes, thank you. Other than that, our journey to Mexico continues. Copas and everything. (laughs) We just keep over one, over one, over over one, over one. (laughs) We're going to get there. Copas. Remember, positive thoughts tend to lead to positive results. So that's basically where we're going so until next week we are gringos are us expats with a plan we are doing it you can too although we're doing it really roughly (laughs) whoa (laughs) nowhere did we ever say this was gonna be an easy move at least you get to see all the things that could possibly happen (laughs) you, you now know how bad it can be it probably could be worse. It could be. We could have gotten declined so, you yeah. know, at, at the consulate last week. So all things considered, mild, mild problems that we can get over. I hope we have better news next week. Yep. Adios. Hasta la vista.